Hi, this is Sandy Joe at RhinestoneTemplates.com, and this is going to be lesson number two um, for our newbies that are starting to do rhinestones and work with rhinestones um, in production with garments or bags or whatever it is that you're making. So this is this is lesson number two in our series, and this one we're going to talk about um, your workstation, and we're going to talk about what a template is, what a transfer is. Sometimes people don't know the difference between a, a template transfer or download, so we're just going to kind of explain some of that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you what a workstation looks like. And um, this particular one is our medium workstation. This is our blue one that we have on the website right now. It's a flocked material, and by using a flocked material for your workstation, you're making an anti-static area to work off of for your templates. The reason it has a strip over here that is vacant is because when we do our transfers and we do multicolor transfers, we lay our transfer tape on here, and then it sticks onto there really well, and we can roll it off why we layer up our templates on top of each other for different colors or sizes of stones, but we'll get into all of that. But this is the this is the workstation. These are on the website rhinestonetemplates.com. Um, I have them in a couple of different sizes. I can make them in a larger size too if you'd like to have a larger size. But we have them in right now. I have them in a Valentine red for a limited edition color, and I have them in this blue for right now. So that's our workstation. I'm just going to keep this down as our background here as we're working. Now, on the website, we have a ton of, of supplies, but we also have downloads. So if somebody's just starting out, like you guys are, and you don't have the ability to create and design your own stuff yet, I can design for you. I can also do custom work for you if you'd like, but um, I have you know hundreds and hundreds of of uh, downloads available on our website that are an SVG file which are great for the Cricut, for the Brother Cut and Scan, for the Cameo, for a lot of the different softwares, the different cutters that are out there, and also an EPS form format for a lot of the larger, um, more um, programs like Corel, um, Illustrator, they all take EPS files. Now files that you can use um, for rhinestones, rhinestones you have to be really really intricate on what you're doing to keep that hole a round hole so that it goes from a download file over into your cutter and the EPS files are the most um, the ones that stay in the format the most and will keep everything, all the nodes exactly where they're supposed to be and have a perfect round dot when you go to download them. Some of the, the crafter softwares don't allow an EPS file, um, but then you use an SVG. An SVG is not as reliable as an EPS, so it can come in a bit distorted, so always look over your files before you actually work with them. Um, they do work, you just have to you know, make sure that they didn't get distorted as it was downloading, as it's not, it's not as reliable as a file. And then there's the DXF files, which even aren't as reliable even more so, and the list can kind of just go on and on. I always recommend EPS if you can use it. If you can't use it, then you work with the SVG files, and when you work with the SVG files, then make sure that you just check them over really well before you actually start. So a download file is a file that you get from the website, and you pay for it. It goes into your history file, you download it, um, and then and make sure to and download it. Don't leave it on the on the website because they could be gone um, at any time. We had somebody hack our website about five months ago and destroyed our whole website so everything that was on the website was gone so our new website is one that we've been rebuilding and trying to to bring everything back from the one that was hacked when everything was lost so always when you buy something download it right away so you have it just in case and then make sure and do backups too Dropbox, uh, external hard drive, something like that to keep your files in um, but you can, but a download file is one that is cut, it's ready to go, it's ready to go ahead and stone out, um, send it to your cutter, and and go ahead and use right away. The only ones that aren't are the fonts that are TTF fonts. TTF fonts are a true type font, and they are stoned, but you're going to have to go in and size them, and I have videos for that here on YouTube too. So make sure if you get a TTF font that you look for that. If you go to the rhinestone fonts that are the lineups, 
Now those are ready to go. Those don't, you don't have to resize them or do anything. Just line them up what you want to spell, send it to your cutter and cut it out and all the stones are the right sizes as they are. A rhinestone file, when you see it says, say, say it's a dog and it says it's a, a 4 by 6 that file cannot be sized up or down or it changes the sizes actually of the stones that you actually would be having at say a 10 SS stone so you can't size that up or you can't size it down or it's not going to be the right size stone so when you look at it make sure it's compatible to your cutter so that you can cut it if you have a Cameo a Brother um, cut and scan or a Cricut um, cutter you're going to want under a 12 inch file although the file could be 12 inches wide you know going wide width wise and it could be you know 15 inches long going the other way so just know that you might have to adjust it and turn it if it's a little bit longer some of our crosses that we do are or wings or some of the sugar skulls and stuff are a little bit larger files so um, if you don't want to cut the file in half and send half of it through your cutter which you can do too um, you know and then you'll have to line it up you're gonna want to rotate it you know and, and put it so that it fits onto your your um, weeding mat and your template material when you send it through the cutter. So those are the download files and those are ready to cut. You won't have to do anything with them, just bring them in like in, in uh, the SIL programs, just bring it into DE and turn your cut lines on and ungroup it and send it to your cutter and you'll be ready to go. Um, then there are transfers. Um, transfers, people ask me uh, all the time, you know, what what is a transfer? And a transfer is what we make from a template and a template is we make it out of the flocked material this particular one is our heart spray we have this on the website if you would like the transfer or if you would like the download file I use this a lot I put dog paws in the middle of it I use it for monogramming I put for Valentine's Day there'll be family kids names in it it's be for grandma for a shirt um, there's many different things that you can do with this and think of this actually as a frame and some people just wear it like this too but um, this is a transfer. Transfer is on a very large piece of tape and it has the rhinestones already on it and it's ready to press and it comes the back side of it looks like this and it's a, a white bubbly material and when you go to put it onto your shirt you just peel the two layers apart and then you have the transfer that's ready to set onto the shirt and ready to press. So that was downloads. This is the transfer. And what you all are wanting to make are the transfers from the templates that you're going to be cutting. And like I said, if you're just starting out and you just want to get started on selling some shirts, I'd be happy to make transfers for you too. Any any uh, design that we have on our website, or I have on my website, is, is an original design. And um, I can make the transfer from it, or I can make the pre-cut template from it if you would like. If you just want to kind of get started until you're ready to do it on your own, I'd be happy to help you with that. And you'll be able to choose between the Korean stones or the Trillion stones. These are the Korean stones, and that just shows you know, how awesome they are and how sparkly they are. Those are the Korean stones on my website. This is the clear Korean stone. So that is the downloads and the transfers. Now we come to templates. Templates are cut out of the HTW flock material, which is an orange material. Um, there are different other materials too that we may have on our website, um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you about the HTW flock material uh, as a, a pre-cut because that's what I sell as all my pre-cuts because it's the easiest for all my customers to use and um, it's just very very easy to use so um, how you work with the template after you've after you've gotten the design from me you've downloaded it you've sent it to your cutter you have put your um, your actual uh, template material HGW premium on the website material on the on your cutting mat or you can just leave it on the carrier sheet if you want to I prefer a cutting weeding mat because I like it to weed out all of my holes for me that will be another video that we'll do. But then once you're done with that, 
then you come over here and you just take your template after you've cut it, after you've weeded it, you put it on your workstation, and then you work off of this. Every time before you start working on a workstation, you always take a lint roller and get all the dust or debris or any hair or anything that's been in the air that has landed on this since the last time you used it. You need to get rid of that so that you keep the back of your, your template extremely clean. So this is a template. The, the orange HTW, once it's cut, it is a template. Some people get the, you know, the transfers and the, um, the downloads and some of the um, templates all mixed up not knowing what is what. And I know when you're first starting it's a lot to learn. There's so much to learn. But every step of the way that you go, it's like you just get closer to being able to do this yourself. And it's just, it's an awesome awesome way to earn some extra money, do what you love, but it's uh, just an awesome, fun craft to have, and for me it's extremely relaxing to do. So that is that is a template. Here's another one that I have, a template, and um, I store them after I cut them. I store them, you know, on the back either of the HTW material or on a back of a piece of, of um, transfer tape that we have. We throw these backs away after, we, after we've taken our, um, actually it would be this back right here, after we take and put our transfer on our garment, we actually take and throw this part away. Don't throw it away. Save it. I'm, I'm all about saving anything I can and reusing anything I can. In fact, all the packages that you guys get shipped to you, I gather that from many different businesses in the town where I live and they gladly save it for me because I reuse it. Otherwise they throw it out the door. I reuse it, the packing material, and use it in all of our shipping. So reuse whatever you can. Save save just a little bit of that that stuff you're throwing away. So, um, so this right here, you want to save these because you're going to use them you know, for storing the back of your templates on once you have your templates cut. And they make a nice, a nice tight barrier to the template so no air gets to it and dries out the glue that's on the back. And that's really important. This particular template here, I think I, I cut this, oh gosh, I don't even know, maybe four years ago, three, four years ago. And, you know, I'm still using it today. So it just tells you how long, if you take care of these, how long they can last. The other way of saving it would be putting it back on the back of the material that the HTW comes on. And this is the material right here. So I save that too. And then I'll just take and stick it right on the back, back through there. I have found that my templates on the back of my rhinestone tape bubble part that I usually throw away last longer than the ones that are stored on the back of the HTW material. You can see here you can see the white that shows through here and that's sticking down here but you can see here this isn't and that's gonna that's gonna let all the the dirt and the dust and stuff get in and get in back of this particular template so it doesn't make it I can push it down and it looks like it's gonna be up but you can see it's already raising up right there so this is my second choice and this is my first choice of how I storm and then that's really easy if you want to put them in files or if you, I like to actually storm instead of in files I like to store mine laying down in boxes that are um, that you get from Walmart or whatever just put on it you know that has a cover on it so you can keep it out of dirt dirt and dust and you know pet hair or whatever and um, I like to just label the front of it and say this one is for beach stuff, this one is for stars, this one is wings, this one is crosses, you know, just so that you can have them stacked up and you know where all your templates are, or this one is alphabet, so you know where everything is. But that's just a little background about um, the difference between downloads, the difference between um, transfers, rhinestone transfers, and the difference between templates. So what we have to do is we actually have to cut our template material and then we make our template, put it on our workstation, fill it with stones, and then we make our transfer. And then once we have our transfer, we take it and we heat press it onto our garment. So um, it all just kind of goes together. The downloads that you see on the website, um, there's a sale area and a freebie area. Every um, every time I put a new um, download up, I discount it by 50% for the first day. 
That's the best way to grab your downloads. So I would check back every day in that area and see if I've put anything new up on the website. Um, because we're building the new website and we feel bad about all the downloads that people have lost in the past that didn't download their files. Um, we are all of our files that we have had in the past, not just the new ones, as soon as we're listing them up, everything went half price or less. And uh, we're still doing that. So, um, you know, go ahead and grab them when you see them for half price because it's a great way to save. And then on Thursdays, you know, I'll put a newsletter, I'll give you a newsletter if you're on our newsletter sign up sheet or on the groups. And on um, Thursdays, I do a, a thing called $3 Thursday. And on $3 Thursday, I'll just throw in a handful, a dozen, whatever files into that sale freebie area. And they'll all be marked $3 or less um, if they're part of the, the $3 Thursday. And I try, to, I try to make sure if I load anything up on Wednesday, too, to keep that at $3, no matter what price it was when I loaded it up. So um, check out the website, too, for um, $3 Thursday, but also at if you can every day, just check in and see if there's anything in there that you would like to download, purchase and download, that would be the half price. But that's it for our number two video, and um, or for our lesson, and now we're going to go on to our number three lesson. So um, I will go ahead and stop this, and I will come back, and we will do a number three lesson. If I have missed something that in this area here, that anybody would like to know about, feel free to ask in the groups or send me an email and I'd be happy to um, fill in any blanks that I may have missed. There is one other thing I wanted to show you guys too. Um, this is a paw that I had created and it just looks like it's a rhinestone transfer but it's actually a decal and it can stick on any hard surface. You could put this on a car window, a patio door, uh, you could put it on a tumbler, you could put it on a, a, anything glass or hard surface. You can put it on and it stays on. It won't go through the dishwasher very well because um, it's actually heat applied on um, the rhinestones onto the product. That it has a sticky backing that put, you put it onto the product so it has a nice sticky backing. But if you put it on a cold or a hard surface like a, a mug or a glass window or um, put a hummingbird on your kitchen window or a patio door snowflakes or whatever you want it to be, um, this is made with rhinestone monkey material. These are the Korean stones. There we go. The Korean stones and this is the Capri Blue I believe in the clear. And I'm just going to kind of show you what this looks like. In the, with the rhinestone monkey material. We take our transfer that I showed you before and then we have this rhinestone monkey material that we have put through our cutters and have contour cut it and um, what you end up with, I'm just going to grab this carefully, what you end up with is a um, clear backing material that is sticky on this side. That's why it sticks to stuff and when you actually take it and apply it onto a window you leave it all in one piece like right now you leave it on this clear sheet and then you would take and you would stick it up on the window and then you would press on it nicely and then you would carefully peel it away and when you peel it away the um, paw here would remain on the window let's see if I get that in the right spot there we go would remain on the window I think I need to that a little closer. Um, so that you have a rhinestone decal on a window, you know, on a car window. We did start doing these many years ago and they're real good sellers. Schools love them because you can do the school mascots and put them on the windows and such and they work really well but um, when you do it in pieces like these, these big pieces just pull off, you know, all together because they're all assembled together and um, then you just stick them on the window, on a tumbler, on a beer mug, whatever it is that you would like to do it for a hard surface. But um, that is the rhinestone monkey material and the Korean rhinestones. Like I said, you make a transfer first and then you go ahead and you put it, um, you heat it, the rhinestone monkey material on your heat press with the transfer over the top of it. And then the um, stones actually get from the heat, they get a little bevel around them I don't know if you can see the little bevel around them. You might not be able to. But um, the little bevel around each stone is what holds the stone in place, 
you know, on the material so it just stays in there really, really well. But that's Rhinestone Monkey decal material. And we'll get to all the stuff and show you how to use it all. I just want to show you that, too. And, uh, like I said, if, if anybody needs anything, you know, just let me know and I'd be glad to help you. Now you know about rhinestones in the lesson number one. Now you know the difference between downloads, transfers, and templates um, for lesson number two. So we'll just go ahead and keep going through our lessons. And, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. But thank you for watching. This is Sandy Joe at rhinestonetemplates.com. And all of the products that you see here we have on the website. This particular one is a download. We also have the PAW as a download or transfer, or this is a transfer or a pre-cut template for either one. Um, workstations are on as well. HTW material, the transfer tape is on SG. Um, choice uh, for the transfer tape is the tape that you want. It's the best tape out there, um, the lowest static electricity, but we'll get into tape, I think, on this next video and tell you the differences on tapes and how to use them. So you have a great day, and watch for the next video, which or next lesson, which will be lesson number three. Thank you for watching.